Heslaya from Athens to get this season's competition underway in Group H. Hello from Will Downing. Here we go again. Later on tonight at 8.30 Central European time, the second game in this group on game day one. It's Tenerife against Reitas Vilnius. It is a big debut night for the Israel Cup holders, while for Perestere it is their third basketball Champions League season after finishing eighth in the Greek League last season. We're in the Perestere Arena, the Andreas Papandreou Arena. That's a familiar name if you're as old as I am. Uh, 4,000 capacity stadium in the heart of Peristeri in Athens. And the start of a great season of action. You will be able to watch every game live with us throughout the season, no matter where, no matter when. Every single game live. Heslia with quite a lot of American representation, including Sandy Cohen from Wisconsin, Robert Carter from Georgia, Morris Kemp, Chris Babb, the Belgian international, Andre Van Vliet, formerly of Antwerp Giants, most recently with Shilawi. The first competitive game of the season for Peristeri, who come into this with the Americans, Shakur Justin, who's just signed from Aris, Sylvain Francesco from France, Miro Bilan, well used to this competition, he's just signed from Dinamo Sassari, had been with Plomity, who withdrew the Ukrainian champions midway through last season for reasons that you know. Two wins, one loss in their three pre-season friendlies. Benai Hetzlea have been beaten in the League Cup by Hapoel Tel Aviv at the weekend on a 14-point margin at home in Hetzlea. 92 points to 78. For both these sides, the domestic campaign in the league begins next weekend. Will we see much art man from Guy Artman? Israel underage international, 20 years old. Unlike many other sides that you could mention or on Aharoni's but I heard Slayer have managed to keep their squad largely together from last season a few switches here and there as is always the case we are very much used to seeing major squad overhaul that is the case with Perish Derrick Shaka Justo who's just come from Aris of Thessaloniki Konstantinos Bilalis, Miro Bilan, who's come from Dinamo Sassari, having had to join them on an emergency basis for the final few months of last season. Sylvain Francisco of France. Dimitris Moratis, Alexa Radonov, who signed from Igorkea of Bosnia. Did the double with them last season. And the previous campaign, the double with Red Star, Belgrade, Kvainish Feister in their native language. Vesalis Benoulis, one of the greats of European basketball over the last 15 years, now ready to make his mark as a coach. He is 40 years old now. Eight years the junior of his opposite number today, Oren Ahroni of Benai Herzliya. Miro Bilan 
who, after spells back home, Croatia, and France with Strasbourg and Lyon Asphalt, in Italy with Dinamo Cesare and a, a curtailed run in Ukraine with Promete. Now linking up with Peristeri. They've never won the Greek League. They've won the A2 League, the second flight, three times, most recently in 2018, having only come up from the third flight this season before. They were eighth in the Greek League last season. Approaching 6.30. Central European time. Approaching 7.30 in the evening. Greek summer time. Officials tonight, Nicola Meis from France, Kerem Baki from Turkey and Vladimir Jovetic from Serbia. So the starting five for Benai Hetzlaya, Chris Bab, Robert Carter, Sandy Cohen, Quinton Hooker and Andy Van Vliet. Cohen now uh, in Israel International. Having played most of his professional career in Israel. Born in Green Bay. Well known for a variety of sports, but one in particular. The starting five for Peristeri, Miro Bilan, Devin Davis, Marcus Denmont, Leonidas Kasalakis, and Stelios Pulianitis. And what a man to have at the helm, the three-time EuroLeague winner, the seven-time league winner, Vasileus Spinouis. The group of the champions, Tenerife, winners in Bilbao, of the Basketball Champions League last season with their 11-point win over Manresa. Their second crown, they won the very first season of this competition back in 2017, a bit tighter it was back then, a four-point win over Banfit. Can they win their first game for a third time? Nice to see Morris Kemp Bank as well. Played in the 2018-19 season. He's been around a lot, including in Uruguay with Nacional of Montevideo, in Estonia with Caleb, with the Gigantes de Carolina. Also Kavala in Hungary with Albert Fehervá. He is well-traveled and a winner of the Latvian Estonian League two seasons ago with Caleb. So this should be a fascinating opening encounter to get the group stage of the 2023 Basketball Champions League underway.
So we are just about ready to go. The new regular season, Group H, the group of the champions. Hold on to your hats, away we go for a new campaign in this competition of competitions. Ferristeri are in the yellow and Benai Hetzlia are in the blue. With Miro Bilan straight away, attempt missed. Taken through by Quinton Hooker and uh, immediately a foul. Cleantis. Crowd coming in already. Vociferous, tuneful, but still scoreless. Sandy Cohen having his pop second season here, a league winner previously with Maccabi Tel Aviv. Short for Devin Davis, he'll have a go for three. Just couldn't quite put that one away. Short by uh, Stelios Pulianitis for Marcus Denman, who's just come from Pekin's four in Turkey to set up Miro Bilan, and Miro Bilan has scored. Another basketball Champions League campaign, another club, that's a set up for an alley -oop and a score, and a foul drawn during it. Hetzlia get the points on the board, and there may be more to come. Chris Babb will be a man well worth watching throughout this competition, a good tee-up by him, set up for Andy Van Vliet. He's been fouled, and it is a second foul against Peristeri in this opening quarter. Marcus Stedman, the offender, Van Vliet with the extra point. Three to his name, straight away. Short for uh, Marcus Stedman from Kansas City, Missouri. We've never seen Benai Hetzlia in this advanced stage of European competition before. Peristeri their third time in the Basketball Champions League. Can they finally make some progress in it? So a foul on Marcus Denman, his uh, first attempt from the free throw line tonight. And it is good. Peristeri three. Benai Hertzli at five. Foul by Sandy Cohen. Officially Sandy Cohen the third. Just stick to Sandy Cohen if it's okay. Joined last year on loan, now here on a permanent basis. So Denman got the first of his two free throw attempts. This the second, and it is good. So Denman with two points and Bilan with two. The early threat of Benai Hitzlia with their early scores. The first points coming from Sandy Cohen, then Van Fleet adding three more, one from the free throw line. This is Kasalakis. Set up for Miro Bilan. Van Fleet in the way. Pass. Foul by Van Vliet, his first. Bieland then with tries from the free throw line, and that's the first that's good. was 
miss. No sound effect for that one, though. But it's been gathered back on the offensive rebound. And Peristeri have made an absolute hames of that. Oh, well. Hey, it's their first competitive game of the season, and we're just about two minutes in. by Andy Van Vliet, and he did well, but given away, quick turnover. Miro Bilan giving it up, sizing it up, the shot from Marcus Denman. Potential three-pointer could put it away. What about this time? First of the season, in by Stelios. Pulianitis, the new signing from Aris. They picked up a few from there. Van Vliet trying to put home on the counter-attack for Padaios Lea. Back by Miro Bilan again, another chance of three, and that is good as well. Peristeri have opened up a nice early advantage, and that's been put up by Devin Davis from Indiana, just signed from La Portel. He's found the Portel to glory at the moment. Devin Davis again. Lavio for a couple of seasons, just last season with La Portel, but it's not unusual for one season contracts to be the basis, and then off you go elsewhere. I think we're all very used to it. Here's Quinton Hooker. And even Vliet. It's been it's about seven years now since he last played back home with Antwerp. And that'll be travelling. Davis doing a good defensive job on him. These two have never met in competition before. At this level. Nyersley are the uh, runners up in the Israeli Premier League last season, beaten in the grand final by Hapoel Holon. 2 0. And a series of three, and that was brilliant by Miro Bilan. And the lead is eight. That is a substantial advantage early on. Thank you very much. What a start for Peristeri. They lead midway through the first quarter by 13 points to five. First of all, we're talking about be aggressive like them. We didn't box out on free throw. We didn't box out in transition. We are late. And over there, we're not screening. They make switches with number two. We got to attack him. Now, on the defensive end, we said Chris was handling him OK at the low post. Do not help for nothing. We got to pick up. We got to pick up our intensity on defense now. On offense, on offense, they pressing out, set a screen for him, and then we go. When we run, look at the shot clock. Now, be more physical, guys. We, we blitz in the pick and roll, blitz out. And press break, press break, it was easy two on one. Go underneath the basket to punish them. Okay. Now, press break, let's go into our motion. Him run. Okay, patience, then go for the two. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, guys. So this is where the hefty schedule begins. A couple of Domestic encounters for Paris Neri before their next out against the European champions Tenerife. At home, they start off with two home games, finish with two on the road. 
they face Pauk and Olympiakos of the next two weekends. Here's Hooker for the Israeli cup holders, and that is a beauty, and that is their first three-pointer of the night, and their first three-pointer of the European season. Really gorgeous score from downtown. Kerish Derry with a notable response from Marcus Denman, doubles his score to four. It's a seven-point lead, the largest of the night. Chris Babb trying to make a bit of progress. You will be aware of his brother Nick at Bayern Munich. Babb in his second season here. He came from Vaughan, helped the cup win last campaign, an NIT winner in 2009. That was the foul, nothing to do with Babb. Kapsalakis with a foul on Andy Van Vliet. Here's Chris Babb. Robert Carter, who's come from San En Neo Phoenix, but the shot clock has run down, and Benaya Talia have run out of time this time. Short for Sylvain Francisco, the Frenchman. Uh, we have quite a few. We'll see uh, a Francisco in action tomorrow night. Via Frigo against Benfica among tomorrow's prime cuts. Francisco back in play for Marcus Denman, league winner in 2018 in Greece with Panathinaikos, his only season with them. Chance for long again from Devin Davis. They are having a ball early on, Perish Theory. Davis with his second three-pointer of the night. And that is three very early on for Perish Theory. Well, if this is the sign of the new season to come for them, it is very welcome for the Athenians. Nice response from Morris Kemp, his first score of the night. He's been around a lot. The Latvian Estonian League MVP when Kalev took the title in 2011, based in uh, Tallinn. Short fit, Sylvan Francisco. Attempt from long range again from the corner. Just not sinking for three. Just missed that time. Decent attempt by Devin Davis, it was though. Coming through Robert Carter. Just on the edge of the paint, Sandy Cohen's miscue, turnover, quick turnover. Marcus Denman bringing it through for Perish Derry. Banged across by Kasalakis, just like that, in by Miro Bilan. He scored seven points in his double scores. It's 20 to 10, and Perish Derry are loving this start to the new season. What a very nice score. Sandy Cohen. Lengthy by Robert Carter, couldn't put it away for three. League runners up for the first time last season, cup winners for the second time last season. Beat Hapoel Tel Aviv in the final by five, 87-85. Oh, that was so smart. Miro Bielan, reverse pass, let in. Leonidas Kasalakis, the captain for his first score of the night. And the advantage is 12 already, it's been a nice high scoring first quarter and it could get even better for Peristeri Touch hurt by Morris Kemp for two it's now up to four points tonight Kasalakis again having a go just come from Panathinaikos after two seasons there. Did the double with them in 2021. 20, Rebounds away, long try for three. Didn't quite work out. Chris Baba got the defensive rebound originally, but Kasalakis had missed his two point jump shot for Peristeri. The chance of three didn't work out. Scattered again by Bilan. Rocked through towards the basket for Devin Davis. Didn't work out. 
Can they succeed better this time compared to last time when Babs three pointer didn't go in? Here's Morris Kemp. Fouled. Drew the foul of Mira Bilan. Peristeri allowed no more, they've used up their four. Bilan has won. Julianitis, Denman and Kasalakis. Kemp drawing the foul and <laughs> doing a good job of it too. So from the free throw line. That's the first for Kemp, he's on five points. Bring the margin down to nine. It being 12 points at one stage. Which in this early quarter find there's a long way to go, but it's not sending a good trend from a Benayo Tlaia point of view. Or for Colin Aroni, last season's coach of the year. Both on the board. Six points now, Kemp. Moraitis. Decent attempt. Oh, that's a lovely snatched shot to regain the double digit advantage coming from Francisco. Nailed by the Frenchman. He's now scored tonight. Points coming from all angles from Peristeri early on, but that's a beauty in response. And how about it from Morris Kemp? Eight points, he's the top scorer altogether in the game today. And it's just about keeping Benai Hertzlaya above water at the moment. But Peristeri has started gloriously, and they lead by eight points at the Andreas Papandreou Stadium. 24 points to 16. 46 seconds left in the first quarter. It's okay, this side. For, it's my side, this side. Okay, look, offense. Offense, look. Horse side. Horse side. Uh, four. Go opposite that. The, where is five? If five position is here, go opposite. So you come, you come here. Hand off. You go here, attack. If you can pass it, yes, pass the ball here and attack from here after. Uh, after the pick and roll, sack, dive immediately here. Okay, hey, hey, last defense, we play black everything. Black in pick and roll. Hey, hey, hey. I think Oren is just a little bit happier than he was last time. Trailed the one stage by 12, now it's a they have responded well to their predicament. Peristeri previously in the Basketball Champions League in the seasons ending in 2020 and 2021, and they did win their first game in each of the previous two seasons in the competition, and they are looking good for this! Slammed home a real romper by Houston. Who hasn't scored for them yet? Ten point game, 26 to 16. Attempt missed by Quinton Hooker. That one a bit better on the rebound. Biram Faye from Cameroon puts that away. Five different players have scored for them now. Seven for Peristeri. Eight point game again. Ten from 18 field goals for Peristeri so far. Seven from 16 for Benai Herzliya. 43% shooting rate. They've actually improved with the last two attempts. It's 55% for Peristeri today. It had been less than 33% from a Herzliya point of view. That is the end of the first quarter. Decent shot to nothing for Moraitis. He almost got it to off the rim, but it is Peristeri who lead. Convincingly at the end of the first quarter, Peristeri 26, Benai Hatslaya 18. Five 
Sly in the two-point attempts. And Sly are very low down in terms of the three-pointers, though. At least they've been getting free throws. That's one positive thing. Best plays of the opening quarter, and most of them really coming from Perish Derry. That was a brilliant fall in from Miro Bilan. And then Andy Van Vliet getting two, adding an extra point from the free throw line. But a whole series of three pointers coming for Perish Derry first, and Stelios Pulianitis, the signing from Aris. Kevin Davis would add two of his own. Lakeland Magic formerly. A bit of magic from Miro Bilan. Scored seven points so far. They've been all largely spectacular. Quinton Hooker with a three-pointer. The man from Missouri signed at the start of last season from Mitteldeutscher in his second campaign with Herzlaer. That was the second of the three-pointers from Devin Davis. Nice score. Herzlaer's the scoring rate at one stage was down to 30 percent but then they got a succession of scores in a row it definitely helped them in terms of the scoreboard got it down to single figures again Bila with the layoff put away by uh, Kasalakis and we are away straight away again for this second quarter in Athens from the Andreas Papandreou Arena. 26-18, Peristeri's advantage. A reminder, you can watch now every game this season. Live on this service. And Herzliya getting their serving underway very well at the start of this second quarter through Bab. Chris Bab in for Doris Saha right in the start of this quarter. And Bab. The man from Kansas gets his first score of the day, but here's a response! There is some response! A gorgeous three put in by Sylvan Francesco. What a beauty. Five points to his name, and that is four three-pointers tonight for them. How about that in response, though? Put away by Chris Babb, and he's got his first scores in very quick succession. A lovely two and a very nice three, and they've got two of those tonight. Absolutely no way of stopping Demetrius Moraitis. Second season having come from Ike, Kravitz, Kemp and Vliet, Babb and Fay on court for Hitzlaya in this... Uh, Second quarter, the opening knockings of the same. Eight point advantage for the Greek side. Tempted for three, wasn't he? Worth a pop by uh, Jar Kravitz, the Benayas Laya captain. Poked up, Biram Fai had a pop, no joy. Rebound, Andy Van Vliet. Van Vliet, a long try for three. Didn't get to see it very quickly. Try continuing the circumstances, but Paris Derry are punishing every chance they can, and that a fifth three pointer of the night. It's an 11 point advantage. Absolutely fantastic by Silvan Francisco. He's got eight points, two successful three pointers tonight, two of their five. 11-point lead. Here's Kravitz. Support from Morris Kemp. Has it now. Being well shielded at the moment. Back towards Kravitz, who just about caught sight of it in time. Made his way into the paint. It was a good tee-up for him. And finally put away by Biram Fai. Doubles his money up to four points. not be the league champions but they were in many ways the team of the year in Israel by reaching the league decider by winning the cup so what sort of a coach will Spanulis turn out to be 
Seven domestic titles. 2009 Euroleague with Panathinaikos, then two more with Olympiakos 2012 and 2013. Two more finals after that, 2015-2017. Hed out. What an alley -oop. Tremendously set up and put home by Shako Houston. No problem. The lead is 11. It's double figures again for Perishteri. Nice, good, free-flowing game. Here's Bab. Try for three. No success. Five beaten on the attempt and an attacking rebound. Moraitis. Nice little swivel. Justin with the smart layoff. He knows where he wants to be. Seven seconds to go. And he scored. Seven seconds away. He was waiting. Justin scores, he's up to six. Biggest lead of the night, it's 13. Might not last long, will not last long. Put home by Morris Kemp. In position and... Affected. Shot away. It's like a big turned over a lot, unfortunately for them in this encounter, and uh, that not counting. Turnover for travelling by Kemp, it was. How about this time? Kemp getting the rebound and scoring. So you can mark it down to him now. He hits double figures, he hits 10 points. And the tally is down to 11. Robert Carter is in for Biram Pai. Devin Davis replacing Kuselis. Defensive rebound by Robert Carter. Spent one season with the Neo Phoenix. Peristeri in punishing mood. It's a clear run for three. And it was nailed by Moraitis. Biggest lead of the night. 14 points. Timeout called. Did you expect anything else in these circumstances? That was a terrific score. You found them all night. Now you can see the Peristeri massive. 5.31 to go in this second quarter. Take care of the ball. Every turn over, we're getting punished. Now on offense, first of all, after this outlet, first to queue if he's denied. First to queue and let's run. Now, guys, guys, on offense, on offense, we don't run nothing. We don't run nothing. We got to be specific, OK? We got to set good screens now. You go on Andy. You play the four. Now, I want to run now our own sound. Run it for Chris. Stay. Start with the same side with Maurice. You, if you, he will be available. Okay? Set good screens. Let's go. Four. Brian Slayer coming up. Irani Kiria Atta the weekend, half of all Jerusalem, first two uh, domestic games, and they're at home to Riotus of Lithuania. The Israeli powerhouse struggling a bit, another turnover. Devin Davis, he's well in the mood, and so are Perish Derry early on. Margin increases. 16 it is now. I'm not sure, but I had I saw this coming. But time is on their side. Quinton Hooker. Spent a bit of time in Poland with Kwiwicia. 
is Cohen. Short, quick turn, Robert Carter missed out. Reclaimed, Devin Davis did well. And here come Peristeri once more. Polinitis for Alexa Radulov, the Serbian international, who's come through to score, and that's his first of the night. The new signing from Igakea of Bosnia, so many titles with Red Star of Belgrade. Eighteen point lead, it's astonishing. Carter's try was not good, Kemp couldn't put it away either. Foul call. 4.15 remaining. Remarkably, we've not had a foul yet in this second quarter up to this point. It's been a good free flight, clean game of basketball. No histronics, as the rugby punning used to say. Peristeri have the foul against them. Miro Bilan, two free throws awarded for that. It is Bilan's second foul of the night. Morris kept drawing it. Chance to draw two points back anyway. He's got ten tonight. He's the top scorer in the contest. And that'll be a help. He's scored every free throw so far. Missed that though. That's the first miss. Had got the first four in the game, but not that. Which is drawing it off. Sandy Cohen was at Marquette and Green Bay colleges. League winner with Maccabi Tel Aviv in 2020. League runner-up. This carried outfit last season. His Miro Bilan chance on the turn. Was there an opening for three? A little hop, skip, and a miss. Rebounds to Chris Babb. Turning a defensive rebound off post into a big offensive one. Oh, that would have been sensational had Moraitis been able to control and score. What a brilliant pass forward by Miro Bilan. from his own space and oh Moraitis is almost in not sure he was thinking about what angle he'd put at home in but really stretching to reach it and a stretch that Carter pulled in Kemp scores on the rebound and he's got 13 points now much going right for Miro Bilan in this game. Hooker back with him. He's got that shoulder very heavily strapped up. He's trying to make sure it's not affecting him in the contest. The hand of Morris Kemp involved. It's the foul. Kemp's first of the game. They've only had two all contest. Zooming from the baseline. Julian Aitis, little look. Opening Sir Devon Davis, got it back towards Morris Denman. Kasalakis made his way through. Man who's played right through all of the greats of Greek basketball, Pau Kanaya concluded, Panathinaikos the last two years, the double with them in 2021. The double with Astana, two seasons running in Kazakhstan and 2017 and 2018 when he was there. A whole bunch of European under eight champions on with Greece as well. That was a pop missed by Quinton Hooker. Layup didn't work out. Kesselakis, short for Miro Bilan, who actually hasn't scored in this quarter, has he? No, he hasn't. Seven points today.
It's the man who's making so much happen offensively for Peristeri. Still 2.30 to go before half-time. Not quite looking beleaguered is Oren Aharon yet, but give it time. It's Carter's foul, and they've eventually paid for it. Bilan waiting, Bilan scoring, and now he has scored in this second quarter. Devin Davis out, Miro Bilan scoring. Alexa Radonov in, Devin Davis out. Nice alley up by Bilan, it was. 17 points the margin again. But I heard Sly have not really come close to eating into that at all tonight. Denman. Denman going for three. It's another Denman who was able to get over the hurdles once upon a time, but that was uh, a step too far for him this time. And it wouldn't go in, and I don't believe it. Kemp looking to touch it home, and he missed it. Carter had the original. That's put home. And Slyer punished again. Perry Steri, and loving every moment of this. Kasselakis doubles his money with four. But how did this not go in? It's threatening to be one of those nights. Silvan Francisco. Pitch right alongside the Blues. Sandy Cohen had the pot and uh, drawing the foul. Francisco, well, that's his first contribution really since coming back in. Didn't quite need it to be that though. Sandy Cohen drawing the foul, but given against Denman. That should be his second. Two free shots coming to Sandy Cohen. That's the first of them. First score of this quarter. Now, thank you of the second half comeback. That will help a small bit. Two from two, and out of seven free throws, they've only missed one so far. They forced enough to date. 17-point game, though, and just like the first quarter, Peristeri have used up all their fouls. Didn't go beyond it in the first quarter. What can they do here? Kasselakis, not quite in. Kept alive well, though, by Alexa Radonov. Wouldn't go home for the Serbian international, though. It's Lyre coming back away with it, 17 points down. Quinton Hooker. And it goes Peristeri's way after all that. 62 seconds to half time. Disappointment that the turnover should come this way. It's bad. Offensive foul. foul of the night and they kept their bib clean for a lot of this contest but now the fouls are beginning to mount up a little bit Biram Fai this time that's his first foul and they have used up now all of their fouls in this quarter I'm sure everything goes to the free throw line from here on in Bilan's already there, being in the paint. This to hit double figures, to hit 10 points tonight. That's the way to do it. Two out of two. Believe me. Bilan is well up for it.
19 point game again. Very solid first half for Peristeri. Both quarters tremendous. Look at how good they've been in the field goals in this quarter alone. And Hislaya, a different tale. Quinton Hooker. That's a little bit of rest by. That's a little bit of a help. Five points he scored in the contest. They've only scored 16 points in this quarter, and good grief. Peristeri scored 25. Hold across by Francisco. Set up by Maraitis. As the first half will draw to an end with 0.7 seconds left on the clock. They can still make something happen. Herzliya. The fifth team from Israel to compete in the Basketball Champions League. The first one to make their debut since Hapoel Jerusalem. Five seasons ago, the only Israeli team to reach the quarterfinals in their first season in the competition. Foul by Houston, his first. We go to the free throw line. Peristeri's fifth foul in the quarter. Chris Babb making the first of his two free throws. Two out of two. They've been very fruitful from the free throw line. Eight out of nine in this half. Chris Babb has scored seven points now. It is a 15-point margin for the final play before half-time. And it's with Maraitis to go long for the attempted buzzer beater, and he just managed to get the net. Half-time, Peristeri, 51. Benai Hetzlia, 36 in the Basketball Champions League. Well, we've always seen Spinulis play a good game, now he's talking a good game as well and coaching one. What a lead at the break, by 15 points, a major margin. Benai Hetzlia have got to get things right. quick look at the best plays of the first half and a lot of them obviously going Peristeri's way and Miro Bilan what a performance he's had in the first half with 11 points Bilan four out of six in terms of field goal attempts none of them from downtown which you'll be hearing a lot by the way in this season's competition I'm delighted to say Tim McCarthy is joining us on the commentary team this season. A legend of Olympic basketball. Bilan having an absolute ball. Hooker scoring one of only two three-pointers for Benaya Tlea in the first half. They've just not been good enough. They did score 36 points, but conceded 51 along the way. Two three-pointers from Devin Davis. He's been larging it up as well. Nice score from Morris Kemp. He's the top scorer overall with 13 points tonight. But it's not been enough. 13 for him, 7 for Chris Bell, 5 for Quinton Hooker. The scoring's been more in depth for Chris Bell, 7 for Bill, 18 for Silvan Francisco and Devin Davis. And the latter two weighing in heavily with three pointers as well. Six three pointers for Beres Dale. In the first half out of 16 attempts. 14 from 22 attempts and the two pointers. The threes have been rare. Bab with the second hooker got the first. Everything that's been going one way has been going Peristeri's way. Bieland's had a couple of those as well tonight. Putting by Marantis right at the end of the second quarter. Very heavy. Green club. 
Chelsea without a major title. But that doesn't matter, they're in the Basketball Champions League and they're playing like champions so far. 64% in the two-point attempts. Uh, Herzliya satisfied, they've had a lot of free throws and very good from the free throw line so far, but the three points, not so much. They have rebounded well, but a lot of turnovers against them in that first half. And Peristeria in control by 51 points to 36. Bilan with 11, 8 each for Francisco and Davis. A lot on the shoulders so far of Morris Kemp, but they need the rest to join him.
from Morris Kemp tonight. Where would but I as Laya be? They have struggled horribly. Coming up in an hour, the other game in this group, and it involves the champions. Tenerife against Ritus of Lithuania. Also, Happy Old Jerusalem against Dara Sepaka tonight. He's on in half an hour's time. Away to Peter Kasiaki, that is in Group B. That'll be underway at 18.30, 6.30 p.m. CET. Right now, it is overtime in Warsaw. Thank you, Warsaw, against Hapoel Holon at the Torwar Arena, and that has gone all the way. So, get the third quarter underway at the Andreas Papandreou Arena. And Peristeri are well clear by 15 points entering this third quarter. And already Peristeri punishing Herzliya. Scores on the board and a chance of an extra point to come. Vian Francisco. Gets, Francisco. Gets the score 
gets the added point. Cohen Carter and Vliet Babin Hooker on court for Hanslier at the start of this third quarter. And the gap has increased even more so right from the start. So Robert Carter, who's yet to score in this contest, across towards Quinton Hooker. Carter's played 13 minutes so far, out of the 20. Chance on the turn for Carter! And at last he gets on the scoreboard. His first two points to his name. Every point will be precious to the Israeli State Cup winners now. Bilan, Francisco, Denman, Kasalakis and Davis on court for Perish Derry who are absolutely flying so far. Davis, chance to continue it, wasn't able to. And up went Bieland for the offensive rebound, but got no more than a fingernail to it. Here's Hooker, Sandy Cohen. Attempt from Carter again. Whatever about the three-point tries. Should really be just thinking about scoring. Very unsuccessful from long range tonight, astonishingly so. He hasn't scored a three pointer yet. Here's a man who has a to, because he's got everything, he's got the power. Ferristeri have it as well, and they have absolutely snapped early to right now. Bilan with 13 points, and the lead is 18 again. Short by Bielan, it is Denman. It is a 20 point lead. And Hertzlea at the moment don't look like they know what day of the week it is. This is Quinton Hooker. It doesn't matter where the shots are coming from, they need them to go in. That's another turnover against them. Recovered by Kasalakis for Denman. The three-pointers have been working for them, the two-pointers as well. Carter in the way. And another foul. And it was Van Vliet coming across. Carter with him too, given against Carter, that's his second foul of the night. Put away by Davis, one more score and he's on, double figures himself. By the way, it is the biggest lead of the night. And Davis doubles up, 60 points to 38. And the one-sidedness continues. It would be one heck of a comeback from Benai Herzliya. They've earned their place in this competition on merit. They've had, effectively, their best ever season. They were in the major match of both competitions in the one season we may have taken the old uniform off and put the new one on with the shirt and tie and Svanulis looks every bit the coach now it's as if he's always been one it's with Quinton Hooker Sandy Cohen gliding through Controlled by Andy Van Vliet, right on the buzzer and a good buzzer beater for three by Andy Van Vliet. That is only their third three-pointer of the contest and it is exactly one per quarter each time. It's 19 points that they're behind. So they've gone through one milestone. game which had been played on a really good pace. Rosteria now scored as they are by 26 to 16 in the first quarter, 25 to 18 in the second, 9 to 3, 9 to 5 at the moment in the third. A 
and they are very much working nine to five Perish Derry all the way through. Fires had a second personal foul called against him. Drawn by Miro Vila. It's well recovered, but a rare turnover against Peristeri, and they should be punished here. And Van Vliet! Oh, my word! That is not the first time tonight when it has been literally a slam dunk situation for Herzliya and they've not taken it and they've not scored it. Peristeri need not be criticised for a missed three point. They've been very good most of the time. Devin Davison was with it. Now, can this go in from Bab? It won't. Rebound towards Sandy Cohen, looking to draw the foul. Not the defensive rebound originally. This was Van Vliet, and it wouldn't go in. Oh, their luck is not in at all. Devin Davis off for the time being. His personal foul. Not in foul trouble or anything like that. It's his first of the game. Miro Bilan is two, Marcus Demon is two. And from a Benai Hathlea point of view, Robert Carter is two and Biran five is two. to play by Bab got it out well towards Yar Kravitz the 23 year old club captain the ones that should be going in and not going in for Hatzlia Marcus Denman bring it all the way through oh. claiming a foul beneath the basket big break big chance and that's given hit the highest point after you Claude quick one too Denman now has scored eight points tonight complete nice ball inside and put away by Morris Kent his first score the second half for 15 now. But how they need so many others to be up around there with him. In the last basketball Champions League season, two seasons ago, Peristeri conceded only eight and a half free throws per game, fewer than any other team that season. And in fact, they've conceded fewer than 10 free throws in each of the last five basketball Champions League games after conceding over 10 in 16 of their first 70. This is the 10th of the night. And it would not go home. Morris Kemp had drawn the foul. Oh, fantastic! Van Francisco with his third three-pointer of the night. He's up to 14. The top scorer for the runaway leaders, Peristeri, and it might be about to get even better. They've scored seven three-pointers tonight, and that would have been an eighth. Seven out of 20, a strike rate of 35%. Yar Kravitz across towards Andy Van Vliet. The old landing for Kemp. That's true. Francisco looking for a way through and no way through, so fine, I'll go the long way. And eventually it dropped. The joint largest lead of the night. In 
one by Kemp. The foul against Radanoff. 16 points for Kemp. Radanoff's first foul of the night. Well, that's two from two, and they still only missed one. And they've won a large amount of free throws so far, so the... Satisfaction that Peristeri would have had, the discipline that's gone away for the moment, but never mind, they're winning by a lot. Winning by 20, they've used up again all their fouls in this quarter. Good defensive rebound for Morris Kemp, speed of thought, speed on the court. Hooker, just to come all the way through, it's Morris Kemp again. And if there's one man who is going to keep Benai Hesley upright, and the only one, it is him. The gap is down to 18. Is the comeback on? Couldn't quite be kept in by Jan Kravitz. That's the baseline. Oh, that was a lovely flick back by Hooker. Good score by Kemp. It was Hooker who well made that gorgeous assist. His fourth assist of the evening. Francisco, lively, keen. Mitris, Brightis and Shakir. Justin are back in for Marcus Denman and Miko Villan from a Peristeri point of view. And they just can't stop scoring. Kasalakis boosts his tally to six. He's got one field goal in each quarter so far, and the gap is 20. And it just keeps on getting to a significant margin. Peristeri's big test comes here in two weeks' time, the 18th of October, when the European champions, Tenerife, come. Basketball Champions League holders for the second time. 14 turnovers against Ben Ayotzlia. And on the opening night of European group basketball action this season, what a dynamic performance from Peristeri so far. Outside for Kasalakis. In for Moraitis. Couldn't get the shot away this time. Hooker. It's a good turnover. Can they get the three here? Not quite for Chris Babb. But two will do for Morris Kemp. And he scored 21. Good tally, good result for Morris Kemp, but how they needed so many others to be up with him. Chris Babb is the next time scorer for with seven, while Peristeri are having a night of it. Pulianitis, it's three. It's 70 to 49. That is their A3 pointer of the night. The gap is back up to 21. Well, that was well nailed by Chris Babb. Fourth three-pointer. Gorgeous score by Stelius earlier. He's doubled his money to six. All of the fouls are now used up in this quarter, and that'll be the last of them from five. It's his third of the game. Off from the free throw line. Another to come, everything from here on in going to the line. Yeah, and he's got the second one. Three points for the Serb international. 19 point game again. Good scoring from Peristeri. Lost to Red Star Belgrade, 73-72. They beat Abdul Holland, 
7.82 and beaten Pat 91.73 in their pre-season friendly starts travelling. Two and a half seconds left in the shot clock. 111 left in this third quarter. Any momentum that Ben Ayotlia are trying to reduce just keeps being frittered away, travelling against Sandy Cohen this time. by Sandy Cohen. But a foul by him. Robert Carter back in for Biram Thai. Cohen's second foul tonight. Julianitis. Still up to seven now, and this to put the lead beyond 20 again. That'll do it. The gap is 21. Pulianitis is eight points tonight. He and Justin coming from Aris, one of their many signings. The defensive rebound claimed as Peristeri look to come on the offensive again. Pulianitis. Support just outside the three-point line from Q Salis. Turned over. Chris Babbitt had the three-point shot missed last time. Cohen trying to go on and go in. And it's just not happening for Benai Hutzlia. Day three, they're at home to Tenerife, the champions. Radonov, it's Morris Kemp in close proximity. Another chance for three for Maritis, not this time. Carter drawing the foul against Jacko Justin. His second foul of the night. Everything now punished from the free throw line. Carter getting his first from there. Three points. Amazing how an old player can look such a youthful coach by crossing the line. It's two from two for Carter, he's on four points tonight, all coming in this third quarter. In by Dimitris Moraitis, long try for three. That would have been something if it had come off. Worth a try from Georgis Gikakalis. Coming in is Sandy Cohen. Still in the possession of Maurice Kemp. Still ten seconds to go. Quinton Hooker. Having to go for it, here's Kemp. And they've got it wrong again. Timeout called, it was uh, a bit of a sloppy one to give away. Out of bounds, Kemp was. You start, which have 21 seconds, you start on 10, okay, look. One, two, four, five, three. What are you doing here? You pass the ball. Pick and roll. We don't know who don't want so good pick and roll. Look, you pass back and look what's going on. After two, pass back to one, four, and five. Make stagger for this guy. You go here and you find Moraitis for shot. Shut the ball! After the screen, flash to the basket. Don't look yourself to the sideline. 
Everybody understand? Everybody understand? But well done on leading by so much. He neglected to add. Sounded angry there, didn't he? Spinoulis. Despite the fact that Peristeri are well in control, he doesn't want them to shut off or shut down or fall asleep, obviously. 21 seconds to go in this third quarter. They're very close to getting this over the line. turn into a rout, 19-point game. Chance of three again, well, that was a nice try by Maraitis, and he'll get another one too, and that will rebound away. And the lead will stay at 19, heading into the final quarter, and Peristeri are in complete and utter control. Peristeri, 73, Benai Herzliya, 54. Peristeri, just want to have fun. Two point shooting rate, very good, 61%. Free throws as well. That's I've only missed two. Look at those three point attempts from her today 24%. And the two points, not so hot either. third quarter Perestere 22 Mio, Mio. 18. kept up a good bit but 15 points down at half time the margin Mio, is now 19 Mio. for a good chunk of that quarter it was up around 22 remained that way score for score for a little bit had some good scores along the way when I heard there it's a glorious three. This is up to 14 points and three three pointers. And a couple of good blocks denied more. Van Francisco with 14 points, the top scorer for Peristeri so far. Three three pointers scored, four attempted. Into the final 10 minutes. Peristeri have been in so much control. Francisco going for another one from long range, but just missed. astoundingly one-sided pretty much two out and there's not been the usual ebb and flow you might see if there's a big margin where it gets reeled in chance for three missed defensive rebound claimed by Alexo Radanov for Maritis again who's certainly in search of extra threes Riga against Benfica on that one. And Matthias' home game as well. Pinaka, Siak of Turkey against Ike of Greece. Timmy McCarthy's on that. It'll be well worth joining him. Limoges against Baxim and Racer. Ryzen, Ludwigsberg, their contest. Uh, Mark Rodden will be on that tomorrow. All six games for you live in the Basketball Champions League. And all seven on Wednesday night. Including Tenerife against Ritas Vilnius. It is being played on Wednesday. The 
short for Sandy Cohen. Kent in the advanced position. Peristeri just trying to make sure they don't fall down a pothole in this final quarter. There's no reason why they should. Sylvan Francisco alongside Kemp getting too tight to mention. Kemp drawing the foul off Francisco. That is Francisco's first of the game. That's the second, I think, actually. Pretty sure it's the second. That's it stands. It's quite academic from a Peristeri point of view. Robert Carter making a two-point jump shot. Scored six points today. They will expect better right across the board next time out when they face Ritas Litova on the 18th of October. Monday, two weeks' time. Carter. Carter's got it out. Chance of three and missed from long range by Jark Ravitz. But well regained the offensive rebound by Morris Kemp for Sandy Cohen again. Kravitz, a live wire, remained alive to the possibility, stayed up, just couldn't score off the rim. And Moraita's trying to come clear in the foul by Kemp, and that will be his second foul of the game. Carter has hit three, that's the most of anybody. You wouldn't really say he was in foul trouble at all. Phillianitis has also now got three. Double, double for Kemp. 21 points, 10 rebounds. And there has been a double figure lead for most of the night for Peristeri. It's played in by Denman. Chance for. Miro Bilan, and that Miro will drop for Bilan. Two points for him in the third quarter, two points now in the fourth. Leaders back to 19 again. And just to kill the momentum a little bit, the timeout. Champions League after playing five games with friend Labrada four seasons ago. Scored more than 12 points in the only two games in which he played more than 20 minutes coming to this, and he scored 21 points tonight. It's gone beyond 20 minutes. It was averaging 11 points and six rebounds per game in those five appearances in the league, so he's sent his averages way up tonight. This is going in, surely. Got enough men back in time. Here's Denman. Brighters can play with the clock a little bit and punish Benayotli a little bit more. He scored seven now tonight. And the first in this half, and the gap is 21 again. And Hooker, decent try for three. Hefty rebound away. Kasalakis. Now here comes Moraitis. Kasalakis. Good steal. Sandy Cohen. Well, they're keeping the concentration up, even though things do seem lost now. Hooker. Very good score. Well, it's a good three pointer for Quinton Hooker. That's his second of the night. It's only the fifth all told for Benai Hertzler. 
gap. 18. And that's travelling. Or Aaron was giving the little hint to the refereeing team and they took heed of it. Sandy Kerner is the first to spot it. 5.48 to go. Hugely busy Tuesday and Wednesday to come. Rebounded to Morris Denman. He's on the way. He was on the way. Move that ended in oblivion. Kemp stepping inside, getting a shot for two. They get beyond the 60-point barrier. Kemp has scored 23 tonight, which is a mightily impressive haul, but how his side could have done with somebody else like him tonight. They've been out of touch for a lot of the contest. They're 16 points down. Sylvan Francisco has had a great night, and Denman as well. Denman has got eight. Francisco trying to bring it on all the way through. And finally touched away by Miro Bilan, unchallenged. 17 points for Miro Bilan. A tremendous three-pointer by Van Vliet. That's his second of the half, his second of the contest. And it's down to a 15-point game again. Six three-pointers for them tonight. Cristeri have eight, eight out of 27. Six out of 22 for the Israel Cup holders. 15 points, four minutes to go. To say if they get the next couple of scores, and Van Vliet will try and make sure they do. They've had too many instances like that. But they've just been overdoing it beneath the basket. And that was a let off. The fleet gaining it. You know, that situation. We can just say that should be going in. You'll have it from the free throw line. And even fleet it is. He's drawn the foul off Davis. Second foul of the night for him, Van Vliet gets the first. Well, we're down to 14. 3.58 remaining. Andy Van Vliet, second attempt from the Belgian power forward and centre. He's got it down to 13. It doesn't seem completely unassailable now, it did earlier. But in this quarter, it's 12-6 that Benai Herzliya have been outscoring the Greek outfit. Home sweet home for Peristeri. Devin Davis. Devastating Devin Davis! That's three to add to the tally. He scored 13. And just when Peristeri were getting a little whiff that maybe they might come away from Athens with something, apart from a hammering. Davis on cue, on target, and the gap is 16. Bilan fouling Kemp. Bilan's third foul tonight. Bilan out. And Moraitis now in. 16 point game. It was Peristeri's first foul. A 
third foul of this quarter. And Slee only was one so far. Here's Boris Kent. Those are the ones that they've been missing for a lot of the night. But Davis, he's got to watch his step as well now. That'll be a third foul. As Kemp was coming through. Kemp from the free throw line. Just to bring it back inside 15 again if he gets both. Oh, oh not get both. More fouls left for Perish there in the contest. They'll be punished from here all the way in. With the remaining 322, at least Kemp got that. 24 points tonight, you can't fault his personal display. Kemp 9 from 14 for field goals, and it's all two-point attempts. 5 from 7 from the free throw line. That's what's given him the 24 points today. 6 from 8 he is now from the free throw line. 3.02 to go. 15 points, just not a tentative lead, but when you've been down by 22, it will feel a little bit better. Turnover for the bad pass by Sylvan Francisco. They need to get the next few scores anyway, and then we'll see. It's missed by Bab. The three point shots tonight, six from 23. That is 25% almost. If they miss the next one, it'll be exactly 25%. They'll have missed exactly three quarters. Well, what's the score, of course, though? Popped by Devin Davis, three-point try, rebounds away. And very strong in their three-point scoring tonight, Ferrister. Inside the paint for Kemp, and it will not drop. And I, Hensley, have had horrendous luck all night. It's not the only reason or the main reason why they lose by 15. Cohen took his time, missed. Closer range, and Leap did the same. Trying to make a big impact again. 148 remaining. Great contest tonight for Peristeri. They've hit all the marks well. 82 points. Yep, that's good. Not when the other side get 83. But that's not happened tonight. Not looked anything like it. And even Vliet then is first on the free throw line. They've missed very little. In terms of the dead ball situations, but so they're missing, which has caused them major headaches. But Fleet is on 12 points. You'd have to say there's not very much that you'd argue about with his performance as the second highest score in the contest. But first area being irresistible. They missed that time by Casalakis, the captain. Euro under 18 and the Euro under 20 winner of Greece. Halted by Miro Bilan. They're well on the way, well on the move. Francisco will snuff out any thought of a comeback as he scores 16 points tonight. Perez Derrio loving it. Bilan 17, Francisco 16, Davis 13. That's the difference. Light through, nice score. Sylvan Francisco, timeout called by okay. Let's Hensley. create three more good offenses, okay? Now they went to switching defense. You 
You gotta take him inside. Maurice was there for the high post. He may get Francisco. Okay, Andy, just just be stability now. Let's go. If number two is guarding Maurice, play the chin. You know what? No. Go motion side, but with Maurice. If he takes you, clear out, attack him. If he's able to recover, you will take him. Good shots, continue attack. 32, yes. Really good crowds in this corner of Athens. For the opening night of the Basketball Champions League. A gala night for Peristeri in this competition for only the third time. Missed last season. Slight problem for Peristeri as they've used up all the fouls. Hooker through, he's on double figures now, scoring 10. Gap is down to 14. But here comes Francisco, good block by Andy Van der Vliet. Francisco having the ball. Miro Vilan has the ball. This has been a debut match of the season of great positivity from Peristeri. You're not going to get everything right in a contest, but they've got a lot right here. It's given them a big lead, which is at its tightest than it has been for a long time. Last time it was as close as this was early on in the second quarter. Five seconds to go, they're on their way to a mammoth win, and they deserve it too. Short from Moraitis, they can run the clock down from here. Silvan Francisco, Herzliya know that it went away a long time ago. Peristeri, impressive. Denman, one final glory. Marcus Denman hits double figures now, he hits 10 points. Four players have managed that, and it's a 16-point margin of victory. It has been a rout. Peristeri have taken their foot off the pedals a bit. It ends Peristeri 86, then I heads there 70. Spinolis, he's a born winner, be it player or be it coach. Best game in charge, and Peristeri have won it convincingly, and they have been listening a lot. with a whopping win. 86 to 70, 16 point margin, and they were largely faultless tonight. 56% of the two points, 30% of the three points, but look at the numbers for Heads there. 23% of the three points, and they started missing three throws towards the end. They missed four, Berestari only missed two. Stereo with 10 steals against Hertzlia. A lot of turnovers. That's 
got to be put right. Bilan with 17 points, Francisco 16, Davis 13, Perestieri scoring in big numbers, Benaya Tlia's top scorer, Morris Kemp with 24. But if only there were a few more Kemp players, Kemp brothers, that he was able to call on. Peristeri, run out, massively convincing winners by 86 points to 70. And they get the Basketball Champions League underway to a resounding winning start. Every season they've been in this, they've won the rugby back. And here's how they did it tonight. Best plays in the second half. How impressive. Sylvain Francisco, the Frenchman, was tonight. 16 points, eight in the first half, eight in the second. Three three-pointers, nine points coming from Hall. Bilan with 17 points tonight. Had an excellent run of it. Denman reaching 10 points. Spinoulis. Looks like it's going to be very interesting watching him coach and how his sides play. Francisco never say die from that situation. Just went to the three-pointer and got it. No way through. Okay, fine, I'll shoot then. See how you like it. Clinton Hooker with the touch back. quite a few three-pointers towards the end that I had to leave. four in total in the second half and six in the contest trimmed it down to 16 points when you consider the biggest margin it was 22 they weren't as effective as they would have liked 16 points to 13 they had scored Peristeri in the final quarter put away well by Moraitis that seven points he's got tonight that was his only score of the second half coming in the final quarter. Kemp scored a lot, 24 points tonight. And who was MVP in the Latvian Estonian League Championship success for Kalev two seasons ago. Continuing his great work at both ends. Two points in the final quarter would finish his tally on 16. Beastie performance from Van Herzliya. They've got to put that right next time when they face Ritas in two weeks. The advantage for Peristeri is their first two games are at home. Tenerife, the European champions next. They get their campaign underway on Wednesday in the game of the week. Peristeri has been one of the performances of the week. Comprehensive doesn't cover it. They have trounced Badai Hertzlia by 86 points to 70.